Greetings and welcome to Nathan Nile Official. If you have never seen my face in a video before, my name is Nathan Nile and this is my personal channel where I upload vlogs, reviews, and anything else that happens to catch my fancy. For this video, I am going to give a spoiler-free opinion of the new Netflix original series, Fuller House, which is a reboot of the classic series, Fall House. Quick review, if you don't feel like listening to this entire thing, is that you know, I enjoyed it. It's definitely a throwback to classic TV, but it's set in the modern era. It manages to be relevant with the current times with while still staying true to its original nature. And there are a lot of reboots that, you know, most of them, they really, they fail to capture the original magic. But with this one, I feel like it, it's like me, meeting an old friend again and it, it was just like it always was. Uh, they did it right. This is one that's definitely worth looking at. If you have Netflix, there's no reason why you shouldn't have already seen this. And if you don't have Netflix, this is one of the things that this is a reason why you should get it. Or at the very least, fi find some friends and get together and just huddle on the couch watching it all together. That's actually what I did. Just because that, you know, there was once a time back in the day where not every house had a TV or not every house that had TV had cable. And so you would find the one friend who did and you would all go to their place and watch it there. And that was actually the only reason you were friends with them. But of course, you couldn't tell them that. Anyways, long story short, it's done very well and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And to, and I'll try to say the things I liked and didn't about, like about it, but it's hard to go into specifics without spoiling some of the storylines. One thing that definitely, <laughs> that I definitely noticed that really pops out and just punches you in the face is that they aggressively attack your nostalgia feels. And when I say that they aggressively attack your nostalgia feels, I mean that they aggressively attack you. Like, they know who their audience is and they are blatantly pandering to you. I know for a lot of people, like my age and younger, some people might have, like, just missed the boat on it. You know, they didn't get to see it on TV or while it was still airing, while they were still putting out new episodes, either because, you know, they didn't have a TV or their parents didn't let them watch TV because back then, you know, parents actually did their jobs from time to time, unlike this generation, but I digress. Anyways, there are a lot of people like around my age, maybe some a little younger, and so there are plenty of people who may have just like completely missed the phenomena that was Full House and have never seen it in syndication, and like I'm interested to hear those viewpoints because for me, the thing I loved most about this show is that it stayed so true to the original without being like too... I can't think of, of a good word for it, but without sucking. That, that basically, like, it stayed very true to the original, but it still was very relevant to modern times. You know, it, it was great seeing the old actors reprising their old roles, but in, in a slightly different way. Also, just, you know, the new actors who fit in fairly seamlessly. I think all of them did a pretty good job. There's a lot of dancing. It seems like they just keep finding excuses to ha throw in a dance number. There were also some issues I had with just a few of the storyline with some of the characters, which I don't want to go into details. Maybe when this has been out a little later, we can get more spoilery. But for now, I'm just going to say there were some issues that I had with the way the story progressed and things happened. You know, some of the relationships between people, I'm just like, this is way too forced. I really don't like the way this is going. Basically, other than Jesse and Becky, I didn't approve of any of the romantic relationships that I saw on this show. But let's just keep it at that. So is this a good show? Well, if you grew up watching Full House, you know, if, you, if you've seen all the seasons and you watch these kids grow up, it is, it's really fun to come and see them in this new role, to see how they've matured as people. It's got that same classic corny sweetness of the original Full House and all the adult themes as well, which as a kid, didn't notice the adult themes. Watching them in syndication, I see them now. And watching these new kids, you know, the ones that used to be the little kids are now all grown up and they're the ones doing the adult things. It's, it's, it's a little weird sometimes. Uh. Basically what I'm trying to say is, if you loved Full House, 
then make sure that you watch this when you have a day off from work because you're gonna end up marathoning through this entire thing. You're just, it's going to happen. There's no way to prevent it. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to click the like button, leave a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. And until the next time you see my face, my name is Nathan Lyle. I hope you enjoy your week.